and this tutorial will turn simple sketches into usable logos we'll try different styles and different ideas going from a simple idea like a dinosaur head wearing sunglasses into something more complex like an astronaut riding a horse and then after we turn our sketch into a logo and then turn that logo into a vector format change the colors and turn it into a realistic illustration so let's get started hello there ali here from logo diffusion and in today's tutorial we're going to look at the new image to image workspace we've introduced in logo diffusion v4 so to get started we need to click on image to image and this will load our new image to image workspace and in this tutorial we're going to be turning simple sketches into usable logos so we can either start with an image or a sketch for now i'm going to start with a sketch so i just click on here and it loads up our sketch canvas and for my first logo i want to try to do dinosaur head wearing sunglasses so to get started i'm going to go to the pen tool I want to choose kind of like a bigger brush and then with the color i'm going to go with pink i'm going to try to do rough blocking of the shape of the logo i want so try to do something like this all right so this is the basic head i want to give him some spikes and let's fill it up and then i'm going to change the color to black make the pen a little bit smaller and let's do basic sunglasses and let's make the pen a little bit smaller just going to add a simple mouth line give a little smirk and then one last thing i want to do is just select everything and then scale it down a little bit and center it so we can give the AI more space to work with it. And now I need to select the style. So I'm going to go to tutorial. It's really important you use the A model over here. Uh, since it's really good with image to image uh, logos. And in here I'm going to keep it organic. Uh, this is a portrait. So we'll keep it at portrait. Minimalist. Uh, and modern. And then here I'm just going to write a really simple prompt. A T Rex head wearing glasses and then one last thing is to pick the color palette so i'm gonna do pink black and white background and now we need to make sure that use image colors is on and image strength is basically how much we want it to follow our logo so i really wanted to follow my sketch so i try something like eight and let's click generate so you can see this is the results that we got with this you can just click on the result and turn on the comparison to see how well it followed our sketch it really followed it well and it cleaned it up and gave me a super usable uh, version of the logo but if i want more creativity i would drop it to let's say five and let's try again you can see here we got more diverse results with more details you can switch between them to see uh, which one fits the concept you had in mind more and of course, we're only trying with one style, so we can try different styles. So let's say you want this to be more like a cartoon logo. I would switch also to the A model. And I'll choose portrait. And actually, let's do detailed this time. And let's keep everything the same. I would say let's add something here like a cute T-Rex head. And let's click generate. So these are the results we got with the cartoon logo. You can see they look a little bit more cartoonish and cute. Uh, and of course we can experiment with all the different styles to see how we can reimagine the sketch. Now let's try a different idea. Uh, let me just clear it and start a new sketch. Let's go to color palette. Let's go with blue. And for this sketch, I wanna try to do a whale logo. So let's try something super simple like this. And then try to make this be as its tail. Let's do this. And then let's make this a little bit smaller. And then let's make this white. And just give it an eye here. And then the last thing, let's just select and make it a little bit smaller. Put it in the middle 
and I'll just change the prompt to leaping whale side view change the color palette to be blue we don't need the color here so we'll just put it none and background will keep it white and I want to go back to pictorial because it does really good work with these minimalist logos uh, I want to do organic full body and let's keep it at one and then let's click generate and these are the results uh, we got with this so you can see we got this this one is a little bit too simplistic but if you look at something like this you can see it really followed the sketch and it just cleaned it up and it gave us something that looks more like a final logo uh you can kind of switch between them see this one had more of a minimalist look i really like this one this one looks pretty clean and pretty minimalist and it even knew to kind of give the underbelly of the whale a different color with these two lines the gray lines now one last example i want to try is a little bit more complex scene so i'm going to start with another sketch this time let's set the background to black and now let's set the pen tool to around medium thickness and i want to try to do a scene where an astronaut is riding a horse i want to do this space cowboy concept i'm going to try to do a really terrible sketch of a horse uh so let's see try to do the head here okay just to another leg uh don't worry about spacing because we can just resize it later all right let's wrap everything and then scale it down a little bit All right, and one last thing is you can just make it a little bit smaller and then just center it and then uh, make sure that we have model A selected, pictorial, and let's write a simple prompt and astronaut adding a horse. And in terms of colors, we'll just do white on a black background and let's click generate. You can see this is the results we got. It tried to follow our sketch really close and it cleaned up all the rough edges. Uh, so we got this result. Got another one here. Another one, not a fan of this one. This one is right, but I guess these first two are really clean. And I would say this one is almost ready. I would say this one is pretty much final. We can just compare it to the sketch you can see we went from this to this in a matter of seconds. Now, one more thing we can do is turn this, that result into a vector logo. So I'll just click on vectorize image and it will take us to the vectorizer space. So I'll just scroll down and click vectorize and give it a few seconds. It's going to return uh, with an SVG uh, vector version of this logo. You can see here in the comparison, we can just zoom in and see how much cleaner the, the lines are uh, and I can just download an SVG vector. Once I download the vector, I can go back to my image to image workspace and in here I can just clear the sketch and start another one and then from here I'll just click on import SVG. I would choose the SVG you just created and now I can just uh, change the color. Uh, this is a completely vector logo so uh let's say i, I want to make uh this guy wear like a a blue astronaut suit i can just change the colors a little bit and i can turn it into a realistic image so for example let's try to do realistic hyper realism and here i'll just add something like wearing a blue astronaut suit riding a horse in pace let's fix this and with the colors here i'll just add blue 
and what I can do is use image colors. I drop it down to something like two and let's click generate. And you can see this is the result we got. Of course, sometimes there's some issues with uh, anatomy because uh, this is more of an abstract ho horse where the legs might be a little bit shorter or smaller. So this is uh, following it uh, exactly. But if you want uh, to give the AI more creativity, I would probably turn down details and turn down uh, image strength a little bit. So let's do four. And uh, actually, I want to see some stars in the background. So let's say stars and galaxies in the bag around. And you can see now we got a, a better result. We got the galaxies and stars in the background and we got a uh, better anatomy because it's not following the input image precisely, but more kind of taking inspiration uh, from it. And this is how you use the image to image workspace and logo diffusion v4. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials on how to use uh, Logo Diffusion V4. We got a lot coming for you. And I hope you guys have a fun time working with uh, Logo Diffusion V4.